Unfortunately, the dogs are idiots. Yay, we're safe in the refinery. Doesn't seem like the safest place to be, but it is pretty secure. Puzzle time! Now, let me see, which one was it? Um, that one. That one. That one. That one. Yeah. It's amazing. I can remember almost every single puzzle in this game. But, you know, I can't remember what the hell I was doing yesterday. Ah, only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such a frivolity. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are there ever belted conveyances now churning in the dark room? I think I know they need. Some kind of heaven or utopia. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Before I was so rudely interrupted by the dogs. <coughs> That's right. I was going to talk about Penumbra's history while we wait for that to happen. Shit. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, actually. bit of an interesting history actually because it wasn't actually meant to be a real game not in the strict sense of the word what a crappy fan um you see the original penumbra game was a demo to show off the engine uh the hpl engine uh so called because uh it's apparently named after uh, a horror writer, Lovecraft. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could give me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear as my party without the gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young Ripley's stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, who would you deliver the crunchy feast uh, by way of a final meal? Sorry, I'm just concentrating on this uh, annoying as hell puzzle. Yeah, if you get whacked by the steam, you're dead, like, straight away, and it's really, really annoying. Break that up. Anyway, yes, Penumbra was never meant to be a real game. Uh, the HPL engine, which is what this runs on, uh, was created from scratch by um, Frictional Games or whatever they're called. And um, basically, uh, they created the Penumbra game as a demo for the engine itself. But the demo proved to be so popular. Oh, the demo you can actually download completely for free. So you can enjoy that and check whether or not you. Uh, would like the game, uh, but the demo basically was so popular that they created this trilogy out of it. Ah, uh, pretty destruction. Let's get the lights on the subject. Old newspaper. Ah, yes, for one of the most cliched puzzles ever. It's been done in pretty much everything. Ooh, a giant worm thing. And a smaller giant worm thing. Can I know? Yeah. Nope, nothing in there. No, I don't think there's something in here. No, there isn't. Take the old newspaper and put it under the door. And the key is actually in the door right now, so... Like I said, a really old puzzle. 
Yay! Hmm. Well, that was. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, the Penumbra uh, demo was so popular they made these three games out of it. Um, for good reason, <laughs> I think. Ooh, slugs. And a switch. I wonder what this does. Hmm. Ah! Creepy writing. Yay, you jotted down a note on a piece of paper. One, three, seven, one. That probably means something. Let's turn that off, because that's disturbing. One, three, seven, one. You should probably remember. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt in your mouth, mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> Fun. Tasty. Red's cookbook coming to all great stores soon. <laughs> right. We have the code for the door. Now we can get out of here. We're there. We gotta go there. Sure, I'm near the end of this game, but I've got another two games to talk about after this. Can you remember the code? I can. Bing! Anyway, um, this is the end of part three. I'll see you in part four.